In this video, I'll be showing you how to perform maintenance on your Hako FR410 desoldering station. So if you do a lot of desoldering over time, uh, your filter pipe will be clogged up with a lot of flux, flux residue, solder residue here. We'll be cleaning all this up. We'll be replacing the filter assemblies here. Uh, you can do a visual check on the filter on your station and see if that needs changing. Ideal would be to use some isopropyl alcohol. Um, we'll be using an ultrasonic cleaner to clean up all these filter pipe assembly, pre-filter and the, the, the desoldering tips as well. So FR410 does come with a, with a maintenance kit. So the maintenance kit contains your cleaning pins, a long flathead screwdriver to clean up the, the heating element on your FR410 gun, a nozzle wrench to easily take out the nozzles and the nozzle element here. Cleaning nozzle tool, I want to talk about this a little bit. We have these pretty much broken nozzles or unusable um, desoldering tips here. What happens is this is a very fragile tool. So if you're trying to clean up this and if you use a little bit of extra force and if this snaps, it's going to be stuck in there. I have grabbed some of the, the refined and smaller head nozzles here. So that's there. This does the job very well as well, plus it's, it's fairly controlled so you cannot damage it. So you can use this. Other cleaning tools you might be handy if you do a lot of desoldering work. So small little needle pins, very refined cleaning brush bristles, some more refined cleaning pins. So these are the brand new ones that you can actually purchase from the Hako store. They're, they have a different width sizes 0.8 to 1.0 millimeter sizes that you can get these are some very refined smaller head uh, cleaning pins once again we have these broken damaged ones here that over time if you do a lot of uh, desoldering work so what will happen there's small little resistors that get stuck there so there's literally not much you can do about this so you have to try using any of your cleaning nozzle pins you cannot get it out the very refined ones here so there's a resistor or something stuck in there so it it doesn't yeah this is these are busted ones just be a little careful uh, when you're doing the bit of cleaning uh, the cleaning process all has to be done while the station is on and the main cleaning has to be done with the filter assembly and the ultrasonic cleaning all right let's get going step one I'm just going to turn on our station here. Once it's all ready, grab your uh, tip cleaning, insert this, clean it up. You just gotta insert it a few times. Grab your long cleaning pin that's fairly reasonable next grab, grab your nozzle wrench so we'll be opening it up twist it and then we have the full here this is fairly hot now so I'm just gonna dip it this one in the iso alcohol let the machine run and do its job Next, grab this long head Phillips screwdriver, pretty much uh, the heater cleaning tool, and just insert it a few times. Once it's cleaned, dip it in iso alcohol for a few seconds. Clean it up again. Next, flick this switch 
and that will be taking out the filter pipe assembly. So gently remove this. This comes off as you can see. There's a lot of solder residue here. And let's take this off. So we have some of the Q-tips with iso alcohol and let's just clean this. Once it's all clean, your filter should look like this. Rest is, we need to clean up all these two rubbers and the filter pipe assembly. So I'm um, just gonna dip it all this in iso alcohol, so there's a lot of residue there. all of this I'm just gonna dip it in iso alcohol and let it do its job The ultrasonic cleaner does a very beautiful job of cleaning all of this. Uh, the manual cleaning is not recommended. It's a very time consuming process to clean up all these individually. All done, all we have to do is just grab some new filter, place it in there, place the pre-filter assembly, That's ready. This is ready. That goes at the back. And that's the front. Nice and shiny. Everything's all ready. This is all good to go. Place your desoldering tip back in. Place the filter assembly. Uh, it says at the front. That's this way. Let it in. Once all in, just push it forward. And all done. 